Hello everyone, Dr. Gamble here with an explanation for the probability of a dice roll calculation. As mentioned in class, when looking at risk, risk is the measurement of or the control of loss via risk and risk has a chance of happening or not happening and that chance is referred to as a probability. So one of the easiest ways to start learning about probability is by understanding the calculations. So the way we're going to actually do this, given how I've asked you to do your work, right? Uh, we're gonna look at the picture and then write out the logic or formula for the logic and then show the percentage of that probability in column C. So, what does a dice have? A dice has six sides, and in this picture right here, we're showing the number one, right? But it doesn't really matter if it's the number one or the number five. There's only one dice there, one die there. So the logic would be one divided by number of sides right so it there's a one-sixth probability of a person rolling a one when using one dice oh, let me change that format so it doesn't show a date so just want to go like this and use a single tick right, and I'm gonna center that so there's a one-sixth probability and in Excel, I would just go equal 1 divided by 6. Okay, so I see that it's a point 0 0.166, which is basically a 16.67%. Uh, right, so I can format that to show a percentage and show two decimal places. So 16.67%. But uh, when I look at this, there's a logic that I'm seeing here, right? Uh, so with one dice, I have six chances. Uh, so I have six chances there. Uh, now on this one, you know, there's two dice. So the question is, do I have 12 chances? And down here, do I have 18 chances? Uh, but we're going to test that particular rationale mathematically, right? So on this one, again, we see that there's a 5 here, and the logic is, well, 5 is just one side of the 6 sides, so the logic is 1 divided by 6, and that's going to equal 1 divided by 6. Again, that decimal point... 16667, but I'm going to grab this format right here and actually spread that format down through the rest of the cells. Alright, now on this one, the logic is 1 divided by 6 times 1 divided by 6, right? Because what we have here is we have one side of a six-sided dice, and we have one side of a six-sided dice, all right? So this would equal, open parenthesis, well, doesn't really matter when you think about order of operation, but one divided by six times one divided by six. So the probability of rolling a five and a one on two dice is 2.76%, right? So when we were looking at some of this logic earlier, the question was, well, now that I have 12 sides, do I still get the same result? Well, let's see what two out of 12 is. So I'm gonna edit this, then equal sign two divided by 12. And we see that no, it's not the same. 
right? So that would suggest that this one down here will not be the logic of 3 divided by 18. See? So we could just put that logic to rest now because to roll a 1, 3, and a 5 using 3 dice and them landing on the 1, 3, and 5 in one drop, the logic is 1 over 6 times 1 over 6 times 1 over 6. Alright, so now when we do this particular math, again, open parenthesis 1 over 6, so just to make certain that you're cognizant of the order of operations in calculating this. So the probability of rolling a 135 in a three dice combination on the first drop is a little less than a half of 1% chance. The probability of rolling a 1 and a 5 in a 2 dice combination on the first drop is a little bit more than 2.75% chance. And then the probability of rolling just a 5 with 1 dice or just a 1 using 1 die is 16.67%. So I hope this helps you understand and you will have more. Cheers. Have a great day. Dr. Gamble here.